Alright, so I, I uh, got that treasure chest open and I got this um, sword right here, which is a medium magic weaponry, and I think it's like Sword of the Flame or something, and it's a really good sword. Um, I think I got some spells and stuff as well, but and a ring, but that's, that's about it. So uh, you go into the platform and you're back um, where we first went to enter the relic area. And now we're back um, here. We can now go this way. And this is just, like I said, a shortcut back to the beginning of the temple. Here's that gate you couldn't open when we were over here. And we are done with this temple. I have the shield, so we can just go ahead and leave. And now we need to head back, let's see, the way you're supposed to play the game, here we go, it's supposed to, uh, is you take all the relics one by one as you gather each of them, take them to the Chamber of Spirits which is back in the beginning um, when Emondor sent me there with the horn and Galdrin appeared and gave me that message that was the Chamber of Spirits but me I hold on to the puppies especially the shield um, really that's the only relic that and the ring of uh, ring of protection but that uh, you don't get for for a while so now we're just gonna head over to back to uh, the Forbidden Lands. This is obviously the Vale of Ruin, where I, where I am right now. Um, I honestly like hate this place because of the stupid terrain. Um, and pretty much any enemy that you've ever faced could appear in this uh, place. So, what do we got? Drain off. I absolutely adore this shield. It helps so much. Uh, we will be returning here after, after not let's see not after too long because Vartug back at Skuldun will give us a quest well he already gave us the quest we need to go to Sargathian Moors oh ninjas suck some of that uh blah. Anyway, we're going to go there next. And get the relic from there. So we just head back to the Forbidden Lands by way of the Moon Bridge. There is a couple ways to get up onto the mountains, but it, it's, they're kind of challenging, so it's easier just to uh, use the Moon Bridge. Moon Bridge, um, you travel just directly south. Um, it's like in the south east corner. If you're going by the compass, just watch out for the dumb potholes. Ah, this looks right. Okay. It's kind of a pass, narrow pass type thing. If you uh, get to the Vale of Ruin using the rune signs, um, from Grimlock, then you'll have already gone through this and know what you're doing. Um, 
Um, almost there. There we are. And we got a bunch of freaking spiders. like disappear that was kind of cool all right moonbridge take me now we have all the rune signs they can go anywhere you want to the forbidden lands We don't even have to go back to Skulldoon because we haven't gone to the Sargathian Moors yet. I'm doing this kind of out of order, but it doesn't really matter what order you do it in. At least the temples, everything else, it kind of does matter. Any day now. Okay. Now it's time to go take care of the Naga Temple, which is a fun little place as well. It's uh, to me, it's more difficult than uh, the Dreadoth Temple. I'll show you. There's a little hut and fire type place here in the Forbidden Lands. Uh, right up here. There's actually a quest for the Guild of Mages, I believe it is. Um, to help Pharaoh's duel, who is in Skulldoon. And this is where that quest leads you. Pharaoh's duel tells you to come here and kill some guy who's like got a voodoo doll or something with him. Anyway, just a little shack place where you can rest by the fire. That's that. Alrighty, well, um, heading over west, directly west, pretty much directly west, to the Naga Temple in the Swamplands. And we got a Chundler. Alright. I'm going to continue north, west, west, northwest, west until I get to the something marsh or swamp area so I can navigate you through that and to the Dungeon of the Moors, the Naga Temple, Sargathian Moors, whatever you want to call it. There's a billion names for it, so follow the trail. And I will meet you back here in a bit. <laughs>